Today we're live from Park 101 in Carlsbad. We're telling stories that matter and introducing you to some of San Diego's finest people. So put your party pants on and let's have some fun. I'm Claire McKee, welcome to The Know. What's going on everyone? We're back live here at Park 101. I'm actually here with my new friend Jeremy. He's the head chef here. And uh, we're gonna learn a little bit more about Park 101. Joseph Aronson's still hanging out. Uh, and by the way, this is not your first time here, right? No, no, this is uh, one of my favorite spots in all of Carlsbad. Really the first spot in Carlsbad to offer like this type of outdoor setting. Yes. Uh, with good beer, phenomenal food. I mean, I really, really love this place. We got the second story deck up here. There's games downstairs, like so much going on. It's totally a vibe right where you want to be in the heart of Carlsbad, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Totally. So Jeremy, uh, tell me a little bit about how you got involved here and became the head chef at Park 101. Well, I've worked here for about a year and a half, maybe coming up to two years. Uh, this is kind of like my home city, my home area. Okay. And, uh, just recently moved back and it came into this place and I thought it was awesome. It was just really unique, really different. Mm -hmm. it's just, there's a little gem right here, seriously. So uh, I just uh, kind of started working here and learned about smoked meats and it's been like that ever since. Yeah, so you actually were born and raised here, got out of here, went to culinary school in yeah. Oregon, you said? Up in Oregon, about a thousand miles away. Okay, and you were like, I'm not coming back and yet here you are. Never thought I'd be back. <laughs> Somehow made it back, but He's couldn't a true be happier. Local. There you go. He couldn't get away. He's he reeled you back in. He reeled you back in. Okay. <laughs> So uh, I hear Park 101, they're sort of known for their whole smoke scene, right? Like oh, the yeah. barbecue, which, oh, yeah. tell me what's going on with that. What do we need to know? So we have this awesome smoker downstairs that's huge, and we just do a lot of production out of there. We smoke meats daily in the morning. Sometimes okay. my guys will be here at 5 in the morning just to load it up with ribs. Um, so we got the St. Louis ribs and our ancho rub tri-tip, okay. as well as pork shoulder, like pork butt, and then we mm -hmm. smoke some other things like tomatoes, we smoke our wings, we just kind of smoke a couple things, and if we do a special, do something fun, okay. we'll just use it, you know, it's kind of... I love it. We've got great. like the beach vibe, but yeah, like <laughs> we're doing the barbecue. I like yeah. that blend. Totally. There's not a place around here that can do like what we do. Yeah, okay, so tell us what we have sitting here, because uh, it looks delicious. This is the St. Louis ribs. Smokes for about five hours, maybe six, okay. give or take on the size. And we put a little bit of our house sweet heat rub on both sides and then it just gets like perfectly tender where it falls off the bone, but it's still like neat. Like mm -hmm. you can actually like pull it off and chew it. It doesn't just slide off. So it's got the perfect smoke. And then uh, this is the tri-tip too. And uh, nice char marks on here. Serve it on a sandwich, serve it on a plate. This is tri-tip on a lot of things. Tri-tip mm. tacos, you know, it's kind of got that. SoCal kind of coastal feel in the tacos, a little chimichurri yeah. and all this good stuff. Yes. Oh my gosh, it almost looks too good to eat, but do you think we can try some? I think so. Do you I think, think we, we can maybe get a bite? What do you guys want first, <laughs> ribs or tri-tip? Uh, I won't judge the first decision. No. Yeah. Tri-tip. Uh -huh. like, I don't know what the, what's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> we get my glove on here. Okay, so uh, do people order these all the time? Is this kind of like two staples on your menu? Or are these like your best hidden secrets? The like tri-tip is a huge staple okay. because it goes in the tacos, goes in the burrito, goes in the plate, goes in the sandwich, goes in a lot. The yeah. ribs right now, um, isn't like so much of, as big of a staple. A lot of people don't order it. I think they're a little afraid. I don't know, but these ribs are killer. Of all the places I worked in the eating at, oh Okay, man. well, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm when I'm right by the beach, I'm not thinking like I'm gonna get some like true authentic barbecue out of a smoker, right? Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. And having just the tacos, it's probably everybody's go-to mm -hmm. when you're down here in Carlsbad. There but, we go. Um, now they know. Phenomenal, so I'm excited to, watch, or mm -hmm. excited to try these. You you want to do it? He's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> no place. Right no right. place. Just Nothing. Straight straight up. Up. <laughs> it's barbecue, right? We got to get a little messy, right? Yes. It looks oh. delicious. <laughs> so good. Okay, I got to have a piece. To Send one over. All this right, way. all right. Let me cut you a juicy piece here. Oh, give me the juicy one. Yeah. There you oh, go. look oh. at that perfect. color. Perfect. Perfect. A little medium action. That is so good. <laughs> Holy heck! I didn't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> So good. We, mm. we smoke all this daily fresh, so it's like not just sitting around reheating mm. it. Fresh. That's the best part about it. That is crazy you good. You can definitely taste the fresh. That is crazy good. I was just saying before we started, I've been trying to do vegetarian. I've been doing a really good job, <laughs> mind you. Today's not that day. Today is not that day. Mm -mm. Not at Park 101. Okay. Let me get some rib action here, too, if you guys want to go at it or if you guys just want to see it. Mm. You gonna Ooh. take down this rib, Joseph? <laughs> thank you guys for inviting me because this looks so good. So we got like nice little smoke ring in there. Oh you can kind of see the pink gosh. around here. Oh, yeah. Boom right there. 
So there's like a, a almost like an Ooh. art to this smoking. Oh yeah, I mean you got to get the fire perfect. You got to like watch it. You don't want to do too much smoke or it gets like really bitter kind of, or okay. it gets a weird like little smoky taste. Okay. You got to get just the right amount. Just the right amount in there. Just so. the right smoke. Just and the right smoke. Let's talk. Uh, I know you mentioned you're doing monthly specials. Things are kind of changing around here. So what's going on? So every month we do a new special. We try to do it based off the smoker, like a smoked meat or some item that smoked something. But it always varies. Um, brisket's a big one that we do here sometimes. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's coming up to St. Patty's Day, so I think I'm gonna do some pastrami. Gotta Ooh. cure it in house. Gotta brine it, rub it, smoke it, and press it all nice. Awesome. Press it all nice. Well, we, we got a little theme going for St. Patty's. We've done a bunch of different things. We've done like Thai glazed ribs uh, for Thanksgiving. We got smoked drumsticks. Those things were awesome. They were just like from a carnival. Yeah. Like, huge. And it just like. <laughs> like uh, medieval times. I right? wish I had a picture for you guys. It had the perfect smoke mm. ring. You can always tell by like the smoke ring on there how much smoke it absorbs. It's got like that pink little. Oh, it's so good. Okay. So that's how you know if it's the real deal. Like you want oh, that yeah. perfect ring around you got the that outside. perfect ring. Yeah. Okay. And Jeremy, just something about you. What's like your favorite thing about working at Park 101? What do you enjoy the most? You know, I really like just the vibe and the feel the upstairs it's so close to the coast um, but the big thing I got a lot of respect for this company is they're always involved in the community there's always mm. an event there's always someone we're sponsoring there's always something a lot of restaurants a lot of places they really miss that mark yes they really do and uh, we've got it down I mean you know you got those little pizza places that like sponsor like a little league team yeah, yeah. a little bit different here but still the same kind of idea mm -hmm. like we do meal prep for the uh, San Diego uh, pro rugby team Legion that's amazing and it's awesome like we do all the meals for them you know, keep it like really good and fill in, but like really healthy still yeah, at the same yeah, time. Yeah. So there's a good balance of like making good food and because okay. you know meal prep, you just think like brown rice and chicken, but yep. it's like so Some much broccoli. more. Than that. We give them the smoke tri tip; they love it. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, the meal prep for me any day of the week. Okay, <laughs> for one, uh, that's amazing. And no, community involvement is so oh, yeah. important, and we're obviously all about collaboration as well. And you welcomed us here today with open arms, so we greatly appreciate it. And thanks so much, Jeremy, for sharing about no all you've got going on here at Park 101. Welcome Joseph, anytime. Thanks for hanging out. Of course, Wait. thanks for. Thanks you for that rib, eating some brisket. You gonna, oh, you gonna take us out with I a rib in your mouth? You guys kept talking. I was just like, I was just eyeing these bad boys. <laughs> like, like, is somebody gonna it. hand me one of those? And thank you all so much for watching. As always, I'm Claire McKee, and this has been the No. We'll see you next time.